Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. Really, we're just in the waiting phase here today, waiting for the storm system to develop and move into Utah, Wyoming, Colorado with snow. Um, that happens this afternoon, tonight, and especially during the day tomorrow. Um, but here are my bullet points. Looking for two storm systems through 1126, so that ensures us some snow and colder air for Thanksgiving and thereafter. There might be a third Although I think the timing is a little bit later now, maybe 1127, 1128. But right now looking for two storm systems through 1126. Timing, uh, Utah, we've got one coming in this afternoon through early 1120. Uh, the second one, that's where the real cold air comes in, 1123, 1124. Colorado, very similar time frame, but probably spills into more of the day on 1120, that first storm in Colorado. All right, let me go back, and I want to show you the... Um, this is water vapor satellite imagery, so your oranges and reds are your drier air aloft, whereas the whites and the blues are your moisture. Still got this big low, moving at snail's pace into California. It's a deep trough, and what it's going to do, it's now been cut off from the flow, so it's really being directed by the southern branch. Um, all this northern energy is coming up over the top and spilling down like this. So what's going to happen is a front will come, you can almost see it right up in here, will come diving down and meet this moisture uh, with this area of low pressure. And all of that will be meeting in Utah, parts of Wyoming, although it's not a direct hit in Wyoming at all, but also it'll move into Colorado. The two places that will get the biggest totals, Utah and Colorado, out of this, there will be some snow in northern New Mexico as well. Let me show you what this looks like. Forecast radar and satellite. So that's by 515 this afternoon. That should be your radar depiction with snow developing. Um, across the Wasatch with snow falling across the Wasatch and in Colorado. And then here comes the reinforcing shot. 11:19 uh, in the morning, you can see the snow beginning to increase again in the Wasatch, in Idaho, also in Montana and across the Tetons. And there we are, snow continuing in the mountains of Colorado. Here's Monday morning at 6. Everything moves into Colorado. A low potentially spins up across the eastern plains of Colorado. You can see the, the effects. It's still snowing. Um, but now the snow is going to start to hug the continental divide, the front range. I think we're going to be mainly rain through Sunday, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, into early Monday across the eastern plains. But that's going to be snow above 6,000 feet. So Palmer Divide, foothills, we'll start to see that. We may have a rain-snow mix in Denver during the day. And then that low begins to move away, and then it's gone. So now we focus on the next storm system, which comes in 1123 and 1124. It will come out of the north, northwest. And here it comes. So you can see it developing right there as a cold front. And it drops south, and that's all snow. This is a much colder storm. Snow through Montana, the Tetons, Idaho, the Wasatch, and then all of that would move into Colorado. All right, let's talk uh, about the um, jet stream pattern here. So first period, 1119, big amplified jet. All the energy is dropping south, Montana. Wyoming, Utah, and into Colorado, where that low is going to spin up across the eastern plains. Phase number two, 1123 storm system. You can see the dip in the jet, that trough uh, rolling out of Nevada, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado through Utah. That'll be a colder storm, like I was saying. And then potentially down the road, this might be the third storm system, 1127, 1120. You can see the dip in the jet. We'll have to see. This one's been shifting around the last couple of days and also changing timing. Um, as far as totals go, through 1121, I dropped the numbers for Alta and Snowbird to 16. Had 20 yesterday, 15 the day before that. Now we're back down to about 15, 16. Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude. 10 to 12 inches up there in Park City and Deer Valley. In Colorado, um, generally 4 to 10 inches. There might be an outside 12-inch amount across the western slope or the San Juans, but about 4 to 10 inches for most places. That's probably going to do it. Period 2, a lot of this is 1123 and 1124. Um, probably uh, 4 to 8 inches across the, uh, the Tetons and 6 to 10 for the Wasatch. Colorado, 4 to 12, but more in southern Colorado if that front gets hung up. Um, which it, it may, Wolf Creek could easily push a foot and a half, a foot and a half to two feet. Um, some good snow there through Angel Fire, Tahoe, San, and Ski Santa Fe. And again, this is accompanied by much colder air. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, update. Have a great Saturday, and thanks for tuning in here.